Korea looks like a better Terraria. <sighs> it's so hard to judge. I really, I, I honestly can't tell you guys if, um, uh, let's try going to Temnix. See if I can go over there. Um, like, it's so hard to judge between all of the, um, between all of the, uh, the different Terraria likes. Like, it's actually problematic, almost. Because the problem is, they all do very similar things, but they actually manage to be unique in their own rights. And be a lot of fun in doing so. This one definitely is... I'm gonna say a little bit more in kind of the process. Like, Terraria, you can totally just, like, scum your way past everything. And, uh, go there. And, like... You know, go straight for bosses if you really want to. Like, if you know what you're doing in in um, if you know if you know what you're doing in in Terraria, you can more or less bypass ninety percent of the game. Uh, for better or worse, I don't know. Um, what's an what's a good example of differences? I don't know. Problem is, I haven't played a whole lot of uh, Starbound, so I can't even I can't even uh, describe that one either. Uh, but I actually personally like Korea maybe better. The combat's a little bit more refined, or at least it attempts to be, which I can respect. And, um, I mean, the mining is really nice, too. Like, after a while in Terraria, it kind of feels like the world becomes meaningless. It's just a stage for you to gather a couple of resources to fight more bosses. And I don't really enjoy that. I, I always felt like, uh, Terraria was a bit of a misstep. And I guess by, like, turning the game on hard mode and getting a bunch of things definitely helps out. Uh, because, you know, it more or less reboots the world into something a lot more interesting. But at the same time, it, it still ends up being, to me, uh, kind of bland. Uh, because there's no reason to, like, explore after a while. Like, my favorite part of Terraria is... Holy shit. That, that thing is huge. All right. Well, you know, I got a new wand. Oh shit, there's a harvester in there too. Hoping for the, uh, for a second the uh, harvester would... I'm going to have to... Ow! Okay, let's switch back to this. I'm actually going to have to fight that thing. Never mind. I'm have to fight all of them. Owie. Okay, let's heal up. I did not put on regeneration. Luckily, the harvest... The Paragon Oil Slime is stuck. Okay, perfect. There's our Glow Bat. That's the one I'm looking for. Oh, wow. Harvesters have, like, next to no HP. Useful! Um... Man, I don't even remember what I was saying before this. Well, that's okay. Um... Oh, yeah. Terraria. I, I just felt like after a while the game became stale. And repetitive. Because the entire progression system was based on... You gotta kill the boss. And I would not be surprised if this one has the same. But yeah, there, there's no end game to, to Terraria, really. It's just kind of like, I guess, a couple of bosses. And you know what? There's probably no end game to this one either. But at least I feel like I've got a lot longer to go before I get there. Which helps a lot, in my opinion. Can only hit him with uppercuts. Eh, whatever. One thing I do kind of wish, though, is... Lock silver chest. Oh, wait, I got plenty of silver keys. Let's loot it. Okay. The one thing I do like about this, though, is that uh, I really like the research system. I know the last time we were playing this, uh, Stainless was super grumpy about the research system. Everybody really was. But I actually really enjoy just kind of sitting around, mining, grabbing new things, and kind of progressing my character. I... I, I guess maybe part of the reason why I'm, like, so much more positive about this game is, um, I really freaking enjoy, uh, RPG mechanics and sandbox games. Um, and, like, it doesn't even have to be much. Like, this game doesn't have too many RPG mechanics, and I feel like it's enough to kind of keep me interested for longer, because, you know, I'm actually developing a character here. And, yeah, Terraria definitely had, like, kind of a scaling system. Um... What with the the equipment and whatnot, but I think I appreciated it more. Uh, or I appreciate it more that I can actually improve my character statistically uh, beyond just like a little bit of HP and otherwise. Let's do these. Good co-op game would be dead by daylight. Yeah, we got to get the whole crew together though. 
Uh, for people that don't know, Dead by Daylight's like a, a slasher fix survival type game. I hate horror games, for starters. I do not enjoy playing them. Um, but I'd probably play that one. That one and, uh, what's the other one? Dead Realm? Where it's like, um, you versus like the creepy baby, uh, thing that's a lot like Damned, but actually functional. Icicles. Never found icicles before. Well, that's interesting. That'll probably net me a fair amount of research. Okay. But yeah, I probably will... What? Oh, right. I have double jump. I totally forgot I had double jump. Wanderbot will probably never play Silent Hill. Uh, I might play Silent Hill. More likely with Shell or Keith. Let's see. I can't unlock things for my character if I do private games. Are we talking Dead by Daylight? Because if that's the case, that's a huge turnoff for me, and I might not do it in that case. I don't know, whatever. It's... It's eh. I, I just... I like my casual games, man. Like, even the, like, non-casual... Uh, non-casual ones. Like, I enjoy... I enjoy something that even if I'm losing, I'm... I have fun with. And I, I feel like most horror games just aren't very fun. It's It's all about the, like, the shock value and the... Keeping you on your toes and scared and whatnot, which I can totally respect, but at the same time, it's just not my thing. Like, I did part of an Outlast Let's Play, if you guys want to go back and look. I just did not enjoy it. Wanderbot, why are you alone? Because Bird borked his computer, and Keith is actually sitting with me in TeamSpeak muted. Uh, we're both muted. Uh, obviously we're waiting to, um... We're waiting for Bird to get here so we can actually do Factorio. So I figured, yeah, let's just stick around in, in Korea. This game is always fun. Let's see, Paradox Grand Strategy Games for for co-op. We're going to start with uh, Stellaris. I did a partial playthrough of Stellaris and enjoyed it, but not enough that I wanted to keep going with it. Uh, at least not that I was going to go out of my way for. However, we are going to do a full uh, full run of Stellaris if we can. Let's just see if I can shoot the glow bat. They don't have much HP. We need glow bat fangs, specifically. Part of the reason why I'm going out of my way for this. Not to mention some experience and stuff. Okay, uh, let's get this. Yeah, I can understand why people enjoy being fear- uh, feared. Afraid. But it's not- it's not my cup of tea. Not normally, anyway. I might play stuff like Silent Hill. Like, if there's really good gameplay involved, like, I actually am a huge fan of, um... Of Dead Space. I really enjoyed playing Dead Space. Um, it was a it was a really solid experience. Oh, that's where the glow bats are. Uh, and honestly, like, yeah, it could have been better. But, like, the gameplay was good. It was pretty much a generic third-person shooter in a lot of ways. But at the same time, I enjoyed the... Um, I, I enjoyed the atmosphere. The setting was great. And it was done well. Admittedly, after a certain point, the fear melted away and suddenly it became Space Marine Captain Badass uh, running around because the jump scare stopped being effective on me because I could predict where the enemies were coming from. Um, well, psychological horror. I want a game that's creepy. I, d I don't want... Uh, what One of the problems I have with uh, a lot of horror games is they... They... They make, um, they mistake helplessness for scary. Like, it's scary, yeah, because you can't do shit. Um, and I feel like that's kind of boring from a gameplay perspective. Like, I guess it makes a lot of sense, specifically for, like, maybe a slasher fic type movie-ish. But, like, I kind of hated in Amnesia that, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go with Amnesia specifically because that's probably one of the biggest horror games out there. Soma might work for me. Yeah. Uh, I actually had- I tried asking for a copy of Soma, but they said they were out of copies. And admittedly, I was a much smaller channel back when Soma came out. Um. But, uh. Let's see. Um. Yeah, I just haven't had the chance to play it. But, um. Uh. Like. In, in a game like Amnesia, the moment you start running across those, like, weird, horrifying creatures, 
I totally would just go find the largest piece of, I'm not going to say like rebar I could find because that might be really hard to carry around, but like something to defend myself with because the idea of being totally helpless in an un unfamiliar territory is just mind-bogglingly stu stupid to me. It always pisses me off. Like, I actually really liked, um, the predecessor to Amnesia. Because that one at least had, uh, a sensible system of, uh, you know, you actually have weapons. And I was actually more freaked out by trying to defend myself against a bunch of rabid wolves and or dogs that were coming to kill me than I ever enjoyed, um... Outlast, which all I had was a dumb camera. Like, I, I feel like the character should just have kind of a, a, not an awakening moment, but just a point where they're just like, you know what, fuck this, and they go like find a gun. Like, uh, I'm thinking specifically about Outlast. You see a bunch of, like, dead military guys all over the place, and I'd be like, you know what, whatever killed these guys will probably kill me, but at the same time, I'll probably do better, uh, with a gun in hand regardless. And, uh, I, I guess that's kind of my, like, mentality here with a lot of horror games. It's like, yeah, you know, it, it makes more sense for the player to be scared because they can't do shit, but I'd... I'd have so much more fun, or fun, I, I would be much more engaged if the character actually behaved somewhat logically, given the situation. And for me, logically is, uh, I'm gonna die, grab a weapon. Because the alternatives are not so, not so sensible, if that makes sense. Okay. In the case of Outlast, the main enemy couldn't be killed so easy easily. Oh shit, I I missed one of these red crystals back there. Ah, whatever. Makes sense in Alien, considering it's a goddamn xenomorph. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense in a lot of things where the character doesn't have much of a weapon. But at the same time, still feels weird to me. Let's see. How would I feel if I had a weapon that didn't actually accomplish anything against the enemies? I feel like it, um... I feel like the weapon should do something, though. Like, um... You know, it stuns the enemy long enough for you to run away. Or, like, for me, personally, in the case of, like, Xenomorphs... Making traps would make the most amount of sense. Like, rigging an airlock to blow as the Xenomorph goes by. Um... And... You know, if I did it well, it doesn't suck me out into space at the same time. Or maybe I've got a spacesuit, so it's not an issue. I don't think, um... I don't think Xenomorphs actually need to worry about breathing in space, but they sure as hell can't propel themselves through the vacuum. Uh, at least not the regular ones. Um... So, like, even, even, like, Alien bothers me to some degree, because you're on a spaceship. There's a ton of things that you can do. Uh... Anywhere from you know, setting up booby traps of some kind to blow it up. Uh, but yeah, like, it would make sense if you if you could, like, put trip wires, or, you know, booby trap a hallway, or flood a room, or anything, really, if that makes sense. Let's see. Now, if I thought about playing Dead by Daylight. So that's the reason why I'm even talking about this. Because um, there's so many things that you just end up being kind of helpless about. In all of these games. And that's why I like, you know, Dead Space as a horror game. Or, you know what? Y you know what? what's a horror game that I actually really enjoy? Um, that I don't think I've talked about? Halo. Halo is a goddamn amazing horror game. And, uh, Halo 1 specifically. It kind of wears off by the second one, and honestly it stops being as scary. Um... You do vent the bastard at the end of Alien Isolation. Why don't you do it in the beginning? That doesn't make any sense to me. Um, but, uh... I, I assume a lot of you have played Halo. Uh, but, you know, for those of you that don't, the, uh, the Flood, which are more or less the zombies of the Halo universe, uh, get introduced, like, halfway through the game. And you're in this, like, kind of weird, freaky facility stuff. 
and like you know there's a bunch of dead marines and you really don't know what's gone like what's happened here and like shit's fucked but you don't know why and then suddenly you're um suddenly your 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 radar more or less starts blipping up with just a ton of things um and it's like you know oh shit what's this and then you suddenly get attacked from out of nowhere by space zombies but like freaking um i don't know the flood just looked horrifying but halo halo one had amazing amazing i'm gonna call it horror or fear, scary or whatever and like you could fight back but it was still like super unnerving especially on a higher difficulty like getting mobbed by just even the most basic of poppers or whatever you want to call them um was like actually a legitimate problem the guys that explode would murder you um and so not only is like they're the element of danger it's like yeah you can fight back but you still have to move around uh and worry about everything along the way um to me the flood stopped being as interesting once you got to three two and three just because um I think they did away with the health pack system to a degree in the later Halo games, which, you know, you didn't have to worry about death as much. And I feel like it became a lot more... You were already used to the idea of the Flood. Uh, so it didn't matter as much. Uh, and to me, that's why, like, Dead Space and Halo, as goofy as that sounds, uh, are better horror games, from my perspective, um, than, like... You know, Outlast or Amnesia or presumably Dead by Daylight. I mean, it just looks like a slasher flick to me. Because there's, you know, making the player unable to do anything just makes it boring, I guess. Love knocking both their arms off without killing them in Halo 1. They would stay alive. And all that you could do, all they could do, is follow you and stare at you passive aggressively. That's amazing. That is hilarious. What about Parmesians? Never heard of that one. Reminds me of how Minecraft is surprisingly scary until you get used to it. Yeah, actually, um, I, I. Honestly, I have played so little Minecraft that it's still scary for me. Like, going going down into a mine and seeing, like, a creeper, like, hearing a creeper hiss. Like, that shit buggers your mind, especially if you don't have anything. Um, oh, Prometheans. I, I never actually, um... I never actually played enough, uh, Halo to run into the Prometheans. Um, so I've never seen them before. The last Halo game I played was Reach. Uh, so my perspective is a bit skewed in that regard. Uh, let's make as much lumber as we can, come to think of it. Guess let's drop off the arrows, we don't need those for anything. Um... Shit, we are... my inventory is maxed, that's a problem. I guess we could get rid of the cleaver. It's not gonna do me any good. What am I gonna play after this? I mean, I'm waiting on, on Bird to get back to us so we can play Factorio. I don't know what else I'm gonna play. And nothing... I, I'm gonna totally admit, nothing annoys me more uh, about people asking me to play something else or asking me what I'm going to be playing next or, or stuff like that whenever I'm streaming. Uh, or not streaming, whenever I'm doing anything, really. It, it gets kind of annoying because it's like, you know, very obviously, you're not interested in the game I'm playing right now. But please stop asking me to play Fallout, Enter the Gungeon. Please stop asking if I'm going to play Enter the Gungeon. Um, God. I still am frustrated about that. For people that don't know, when Enter the Gungeon was coming out, uh, for the month preceding it, more or less, people would show up daily to ask me if I, if I was going to play Enter the Gungeon. And it's just like, yes. I play almost every roguelike ever available. Yes. And it didn't matter how many times I answered it, because there's still somebody that hadn't seen that. And it got hell of annoying. Whoa! Well, that's awesome. Remnant Springs respawn. Uh, for people that don't know, Remnant Springs are, um, are just random stat points. Well, that's cool. My inventory is full. I guess let's just take it 
drop it. Use the Remnant Core. Get a stat point. Can't put it anymore into attack. Uh... Much HP? It's 3 HP. Probably not that useful. Let's go in a little bit into Intelligence, maybe? Wonder I need to heal. That is true. Let's see, am I gonna play Destiny? Rise of Iron DLC. I still need to get a full playthrough of Destiny on my channel. I recorded a shit ton of it with uh, Keith and Rockwar. Uh, most of you probably have no idea who Rockwar is. Um, but we did like a full playthrough of Destiny plus the first two expansion packs. But they haven't been edited yet, so uh, I can't I can't put them on my channel. And that's entirely dependent on when Keith's available for that, which sucks. An ideal horror game would require you to exploit the monster's classic weaknesses. Like werewolf. Yeah, kinda. I don't know. Now as far as as far as Destiny goes, what's probably gonna end up happening for my channel is um Assuming Bird still uh picks up that PS4. Shell, myself, and Bird are going to do a playthrough of it and edit it. Or, you know, Keith will eventually edit the version with Rockbar. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but as far as the new uh, expansion pack for for uh, Destiny comes out, as far as that one goes, chances are it's going to be um, Keith, myself, and Bird or something. I have no idea. Okay. Why is there a harvester in our house? Coming a little bit higher. A little bit higher. Perfect. I don't even have to worry about the damage. I'm actually able to kick these things' asses. Let's see. Should make a remna fountain near or in your house so I have unlimited remna cores. Will it actually just create remna cores for me? Like, do, is that how it works? Because if that's how that works, that's amazing. Let's see. I think Lady Bird would be the one to know if Bird's getting a PS4. Uh, he said he was going to get a PS4 um, when we were playing... Um, when we were playing uh, uh, Dark Souls. Because we want to do a Dark Souls... Oh, uh, not a Dark Souls. We want to do a Blood Bloodborne uh, playthrough. Apparently, Ladybird doesn't know that Bird's considering this sort of thing. Whoops. Well, whatever. Oh, hey, perfect. Another way cluster. That's what I need. So I guess if I wait until the way shards are big enough, that probably boosts my chances of getting a way cluster. Well, one way or another, let's go back here. Let's grab the Sile Chamber. Uh, inventory's a bit full. Let's see if I can drop off one thing that I don't need. Uh, leather that seems reasonable. Let's drop off that. Use the core. I'll use this. Use these. Okay. And inventory should be full. Perfect. Let's go back to my dumb tree house that is at least mildly useful here. Okay. Back to the Primus Crystal. Because, yeah, I could leave resources here, but honestly, I kind of prefer to work on my own house, if that makes sense. I don't like sharing resources. I don't like sharing. I'm a terrible person. Okay, uh, so let's get the Sile Chamber out, and there's no space there. Oh, there's no space on any of these because it's too tall. Interesting. Okay, well, um, I guess let's stack whatever we have spares of, clear up my inventory as much as possible. I have a ton of copper here. I have just realized. Well, that's awesome. Um, shift left click to transfer to box. Okay. Should probably take out the spears. Equipment I'll put in a separate box entirely. Okay. I have too much dirt. I really wish there was a place I could put dirt. Do something with it. I don't know what, but something. Uh, let's see. I don't know about Bane Berries either. What to do with them? Well, let's put uh, equipment over in this one. Which of these is better? That's worse than what I've got. Okay, and we got another Ori seed, so we might as well go plant it down, downstairs along the way. So far, this is Terraria with more mechanics. Uh, yeah. Not gonna dis disagree with that. 
It's not, it's not different enough to de uh, to truly set it apart there. Throw the dirt into the ocean. I'm considering it. Let's see, who thinks the new Skyrim shader and retextures look like I want to play the whole game again? Uh, I guess I'm not as, um... Oh, what? Do I need to... I apparently need to pull my scraps and put it in my inventory to actually be able to use it. That's interesting. Um... I actually don't have a whole lot of interest in playing Skyrim, and I will admit, mods have already achieved the, um... Mods have already achieved the visual style of the remake, if you guys haven't seen the remastered version of, of Skyrim. It looks great, but at the same time, it also just looks like if you threw a bunch of mods on uh, Skyrim along the way. Um... So, like... Like, honestly, I could probably launch Skyrim Legendary Edition right now and get about the same, um, get the same visual appearance at the very least. Um, mostly I think the, the remaster is good for people that, you know, can only play on console and stuff. Yeah, there are marshmallow, uh, there are marshmallow seeds which correspond with marshmallow trees. Amusingly enough. Okay. So what did we just learn? We just learned a lot of stuff. I really wish I could filter based on what I what I have learned. I guess let's just go down the list. So we have Sile Chambers, but I don't know what I can do with those. I'll have to figure out what outfits do. Uh, Enchanted Hoods I can make now with Sile Cores. Um, it's not bad. How much is it? Oh, shit. It, that is actually really good. Didn't even realize, but yeah, that's a hell of a lot better than than what I have. Problem is, it's still not useful. Well, let's get the studded vest made first. Probably should have made it with chaos in retrospect. Oh, well, too late. Uh, let's see. Shields. Don't care about shields. Don't care about accessories. Is that it? Yep, that's it for that. Uh, what about weapons? Didn't actually check all of these. I haven't really been using spears or wands that much. Okay. Don't care about too many of these. Definitely don't want a Silic Bomb. Okay, so Bookshelf, Fireplace, Flower Vase, Llama Statue. I should probably make a Llama Statue for... Let's make two. Let's make two Llama Statues. To put somewhere. I don't know. Okay, Remna Fountain needs... Homegrown Remna. Okay, so we need to go get eight Remna cores along the way here. Good to know. Oh, I didn't check architecture. Gore shingle, black wall. Stone and soot. Interesting. Carved stone, leaves, fireplace bricks. Or my walls. Oh yeah, we should probably, um... Did I get rid of all of my leaf blocks? Musta. I, I realized I, I know how to put a background on this house, so we should probably fill it out just a little bit. There's a lot of stuff here. Let's see. Can I smell? I can smell gold ingots now. And by gold ingots, I mean gold ingot. Whoops. Okay, red glass. No, probably not that useful. I can try making one and maybe researching it. We might as well do that. I got a couple of ruby shards to work with. Okay. I already got that. Don't have any more. Oh, wait, no. Sile Maddox. So I need uh, one more silver. And we can make the next... Um, we can make the next level of pick along the way here. Well, let's quick quick equip that armor. Throw it here. Okay, clear inventory a bit. Grab the llamas. Oh, jeez, these things are huge. Well, why not? Uh, can I can I switch its um angle? How do I change? anything's angle in this game. I actually don't know. Maybe it's F. I can see it being F. Let's try it. Nope. That just drops it on the ground like an idiot. Okay. Damn it, llama! Why is this a problem? Uh, 
That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. A, D, nope. These are movement. Space bars, jump, control. Ah, shift! That's how we do it. Okay. Don't question it. Actually, let's, let's pick up this llama. Let's get rid of this. Let's even it out a bit. Because it's kind of weird to have the llamas on different levels here. Okay, there we go. Now we have the other llama. Uh, let's get the platform on. Symmetry is important. To me, at least. Okay, what was it again? Shift? Shift. Okay, perfect. Llama house is a go. Now, where's my leaf blocks? Because that's actually a confusion thing. Uh, did I, did I get rid of them? Oh, nope, there they are. Might need to make more, but still. Okay, four, and it's, if it, I believe, yeah. So if I hold shift, I can put leaf blocks down in the background. So we can actually fill out the, the back side of my house here. Perfect. Go into a dungeon. Eh, we'll get there. Gotta find one, honestly. I haven't get, really gone looking too much. I'm surprised at how dark it is. Uh, the background leaf texture block. Oh well. I, I should do some, like, uh, background branches here, come to think of it. Well, we'll do that. We'll do that later. Because currently I don't care too much. Let's just make a couple more. Do we? No. Let's, let's, um... My inventory is pretty clear. Let's go find the Remna cores. So let's see if there's any more research I can do. There is! Uh, let's use scraps. Ooh, that's expensive. Let's see, I can find more ice. Probably can't find a whole lot of gold. I'll be able to, but still. There's always more stuff to learn in this game. It's insane. Okay, uh, still not enough. I don't want to use the gold unless I have to. The problem is it's all gold from here on out. Okay, let's just go, um... Let's just go back and sp uh, spelunk some more. Bird's computer is still fixing its shit. Wow. That's a problem. Yeah, uh, for people that don't know, uh, Bird got a new case uh, for his computer, which is awesome. But apparently his computer is still taking a little bit of time to get used to it. Okay. Oh, well, that's okay, too. There's one to the left. Oh, yeah, that's a more permanent dungeon. I don't want to deal with that. Um, I don't I don't want to do any, like, major dungeons. Just kind of that side stuff. Okay, so Tagars are going to be a problem. Because they hurt. Okay, let's see if I can get away from it for a second. Let's heal, let's heal. Luckily, it seems to be confused. Okay. Oh, I can hang up beneath it, and I didn't get anything from that. Well, that's a jip. Am I... There we go. For a second, I was confused if I was... Uh, why I wasn't able to do my combos there. Turns out I just wasn't doing it right. Oh, right. We should probably use our buffs. Oh, right. Uh, the other thing I was going to do is... Let's level, let's level some stuff up. Can't do too much with any of these, which sucks. Uh, I could do Ore Hunter. Precision is nice. Tool speed boost. Not a bad idea. Let's do speed and power. It's resourceful. Extra thing. Scavenge. Ooh, we want we want uh, scavenge. That gets me extra things along the way. Scrap master. Expertise. And the rest of these are useless. And, ooh, I can actually do stuff here. Let's get the next level of shadow folding. Extra inventory is super useful. Okay, whoa, did I? Did I actually level up my, um... Style? No? What? It made a noise as though I leveled something up. But it, all right, I'm confused. Doesn't matter too much. Okay, let's... Let's not go down in the water. Unfortunately, water mining doesn't work as great in this game, sadly. Okay. So, yeah, so we're looking for things to fight, obviously. But I'm also generally looking for resources, too. Found him. In spades. For a second, when uh, the inventory lit up, I got confused and thought, 
I just found the mother load, but no, that was just that's just the inventory and stuff. Uh, let's see. People are talking about stuff. Yeah, the reason why Bird got a new computer is because his previous one was loud as shit and he was getting sick of it. Which totally makes sense. Um, I actually have a case from, I want to say, oh, when was 8th grade for me? How old was I when I was in 8th grade? I was 1st grade when I was 7, so I must have been like 14-ish. Yeah, 14. Um, I was 14 years old when I built my first computer. Maybe, maybe 13. Beast of a machine at the time. Uh, it was uh, GTX 7800 or whatever. Whatever was like top of the line back in, I guess, 2004. Something like that. Um, loved it. It was great. Uh, let's see. Oh, doesn't look like we have anything else here. Um, but I got a case as, as part of it that specifically was advertised as being like whisper quiet and when i made a new computer uh or this new computer uh post college because i used a laptop in college which made a lot of sense um but uh made a new computer and just stuck it all in the previous case and guess what it's still as whisper quiet as it was like freaking 12 years ago god damn this is all old box i'm really happy about it actually like i am I, most computer things do not last long, but some do. Not to sound like a douche, but this seems kind of like Terraria. Would that be correct? Yeah, it would be very correct. Uh, if you don't like Terraria, you're probably not going to like Korea, but I feel like it's enough of a different flavor that it's not really a problem for me. But yeah, no, it, oh, hey, golden key. I need those. Uh, if I remember, I'll save it up and uh, use it with Shell. Uh, when we go back to that one golden chest out on the west, which I'm kind of leaving alone for the time being. We should probably use, um... Oh, shit, more gold ore. Uh, we should probably use Ore Hunter some more. Let's see if I can actually level up the next level of Ore Hunter. Come to Jesus, this is a big vein. I am excited. Uh, and I don't even remember what I was talking about. I really like just episodes... Uh, I'm getting murdered by things? Big, angry something or other things. You know what? Can I... Nope. I'm gonna keep my distance. I want this gold ore. Let's do another heal. These guys suck. Okay, got it. Okay, now let's go back up. So there's water up here. I don't think fighting the Ipharos is going to be a particularly wise decision. We're probably actually going to want to go back to the left, come to think of it. This shit's scary. Okay, let's keep going up. Okay, never seen bosses in this game. Are they any good? I actually haven't seen any bosses in this game either. I've I have uh, I've not run into a single one. Though to be fair, I've been rather um oh shit. What did I I hit it with my wand? Oopsie. Okay, this thing's angry. Oh, is it because I was out of juice for a second there? Might have been. Let's buff up though. I do not do damage to this sucker. And he does damage to me. Okay. Gotta make sure we don't get hit by a slime shot. They were not out in the open, so we should be okay. Okay. We're good. Just heal up. Roll past him again. Luckily, I don't have to recast my buffs. Kind of wish you could cheese these guys a bit more. Ow. Sadly, dodge rolling does not prevent you from taking damage. Sucks a bit. I need a spear. Oh, this is bad. Let's heal. Don't have regeneration running. But that's probably okay. Okay, let's just stay away from that. I, w I wasn't sure if he was going to slime shot me straight in the patoot and I didn't want to deal with it. Okay. Okay. 
So there we go. I think we're all good. Ouch pain. Got a lot of ouch pain. Ooh, what's this? Oh, shit. That's just another one of my torches I put down. Then again, there's actually good stuff over there. Okay, I really need to trash some of this dirt. I'm never going to be using it. Uh, let's drop the nine, 900 piles. Okay, let's switch to this. Use Ore Hunter. Switch back. Honestly, I should probably put... Oh, right. Uh, let's go to Talents for a second. Sadly, I can't level up most of my healing skills for a while. And it's so hard to gain casting experience in this game. Uh, so let's put Ore Hunter on the shift bar. I actually didn't know this, but you can hold shift. Um, you can hold shift, and it pulls up a whole second bar for you. It's really nice, actually. Okay, well, one way or another. Uh... I guess we can put this down. There we go. This works. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we haven't been through here. Weird. This looked like a cave cave that I had been through originally, but I get I guess no dice. Well, whatever. And it looks like bird catcher is available. Well, if Slowpoke make a uh, Victoria buddy wants to hop on TeamSpeak, then we'll be ready to go. Until then, I think I'm just going to keep mining, because uh, I actually really like this game. Um, like, I love Terraria Likes, and I'd love to actually play more of this. Just haven't had the opportunity to do so uh, with people. Actually, no, we have. We've got a fair amount of playtime out of these. So I want to stay away from the Torrens for a second. Oh, there's just a mannequin down here. That's creepy as shit, but I'm actually going to take it. Okay, let's switch back to this. Whoops. See if there's any stuff I have to get immediately. Let's grab this. Put a platform over here. And guess I didn't need the platform. There's a lot of enemies there that look kind of kind of scary. I guess in this in that case we will uh Yeah, let's just let's uh let's teleport back home in a second. Okay. I think I saw a little bit more iron over here. Yep, there's a little bit. Unfortunately, we have friends. Potentially very angry. Going to want to kill me friends. If I let the harvester kind of kill itself. This will get a lot easier. Okay. There we go. This should go down pretty smooth. They smack me around a lot. Kind of hurts. Okay, so what was I even... Ah, I was down here for this. I don't really know if this is worth it, but still. Uh, let's switch back to this. Hold shift. Oh, that is so nice. I had no idea that there was... Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Uh, okay, we want to get these veins and then we'll head back. I think that's silver over on the left. Could be wrong. Uh, but that's some good stuff. Love to see what that vein is down below me, but let's get the stuff that's immediately available. Okay. Everything is scary. But let's let's grab what we can, and then we'll teleport back, because I'm sure Bird is hopping on any moment now. And it is time to play Factorio. Because, yeah, I enjoy playing this game. I would like to play with, with uh, people, though. I might do, um... I usually don't do these things, but I might actually do, like, a public server of this game at some point for fans. I'd have to see what the limitation is. I honestly... I'm probably more likely to do that with something like Gmod that actually supports, like, 20 people. And there he is now. So let's do this. That's just a way shard. Bippity-boop. I love the fact that I can just... Teleport back at all times. Feels really good. Makes a lot of sense. More than uh, more than what Terraria has, for sure. 